Good morning, good morning gamers, this is me, your boy, and uh, big news, the final Minecraft update of the year is almost here. Let's talk about what that means, what's next, and a couple other cool new features. Our saga today begins over onto the changelog, a beautiful, a beautiful site. Minecraft 1.90.3, pre-release 1. We're now releasing the first pre-release for Minecraft 1.90.3. This release fixes a few bugs, contains some tweaks, and has technical stuff. If everything goes as planned, the release date of Minecraft 1.19.3 is going to be December 6th, likely making this the very final update for Minecraft this year. Now, if you're familiar with how Minecraft development works, now that we're inside of pre-releases, we can expect new features, at least for the most part, to stop coming to us. At least usually. That's how it usually works. The newest pre-release does have some interesting features. It's a snapshot day, but at the same time, it's not. So the biggest new feature inside of Minecraft 1.19.3, it has to do with entities, uh, a lot of different categories, including the axolotl, all the types of boats, including that bamboo raft, the fox, the mushroom, the paintings, all of them, the rabbit, the horse, the llama, the villager, and even the despicable parrot and the tropical fish as well. This relatively large seeming change has to do with sub predicates for entities. Take the axolotl, for example. You know how there are like five different colors of axolotl in the game? Well, we now have sub predicates for each of these types of axolotl. We're gonna have this cyan one. I, at least I think that's cyan. No, maybe that's Lucy. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna have a predicate for Lucy, one for wild, one for gold, one for cyan, and one for blue as well. Wait, what does that make the pink one? Anyways, so these new sub predicates are basically easier ways to deal with different types of entities. Let's roll over to the change log and take a look at this up. So for all of that technical information, we've got lots of different categories. Sometimes for some mobs like the mushroom, you have like two categories. Meanwhile, for other mobs like the horse, so many different categories. Now there are a couple different technicalities involved when it comes to the villager, but for the most part, that's what we're taking a look at here. We as a community have asked and we as a community have definitely received and check this out note block place right there player head and this is 1.90.3 and then a lever right there we go ahead and power it and ah uh, wait a second wait a second wrong sound wrong sound oh oh it's beautiful it's a dream come true except it's not got him See, here's the thing. If you want that beauteous noise to actually work in your world, well, you can now make it possible because player heads contain a note block sound field. If you set this up and say link that old oof sound to it, then whenever you play a note block, it'll play that sound. But only if you have that configured correctly in your world. This functionality is kind of better than things could have ever been if that player had just played that oof sound. I mean, sure, that would still be beautiful, but think of the possibilities here. With this brand new functionality, mob head packs, kind of like the one used on Hermitcraft, well, they could actually maybe play like a mob sound now, or like a mumbo sound, or a Korean sound, or, you know, whatever you want. At least I think it can. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's move on. We move on and back to the changelog. Minecraft 1.19.3, pre release one. That's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful, but it's also confusing. So here's the thing, if I'm not mistaken, the brand new piglin head and all that mob sound functionality, that'll actually be making its way into the game officially in Minecraft 1.20. They're not 1.19.3 features. However, the change log uses that image and then that interesting change with the mob heads. It almost makes me wonder about this, but like, it's behind the experimental toggle. So there's your confirmation. One thing that is interesting about Minecraft 1.19.3 per release 1 though, is this. We go to the create a new world screen, then inside of the snapshot, and then slide over to data packs, and they're both here. It looks like these things will be included in 1.19.3. This is interesting, like really, really interesting. That's going to mean that once 1.19.3 drops, if it is like this, you won't have to be inside of snapshots to check out the camel. You'll just need to slide that experimental feature toggle over to your world. Now, if you're familiar with Bedrock Edition and the experimental toggle, this is basically exactly how it works uh, over on Bedrock. Hmm. 
if this is how it works generally speaking this is probably a great thing that means upcoming and slightly more finished features like the camel the bamboo stuff uh those are going to be included in the main game and they're going to get a lot more exposure maybe even more testing and who knows uh with more people testing them maybe the community gives more ideas and maybe the devs end up liking one of those ideas and they change that new thing maybe more camel updates in 1.20 i guess we'll have to wait and see and you know what? While we're at it, let's slide back over to the menu to talk about this next one. This is really quick. We've got a brand new splash text in this snapshot. Now this splash text, oh, it's beautiful and it's also a reference on, on multiple levels here. No chance you're going to catch me reloading the game, recycling it until I find it. Because, I, I mean, it's right here. Made with lob. This is a reference to a typo that was in an earlier Minecraft 1.19.3 snapshot. It's also kind of a Phoenix SC reference. I put this picture here in honor of Phoenix, by the way. Speaking of Minecraft 1.20 and things like that, check this out. So in the most recent snapshot, we were able to do this. It's really, really great. You can basically target any corner of the block and put a book in. You might have heard about it. However, one thing that I uh, kind of forgot to mention is this right here. Uh, previously, you could use this from the back and yeah, it's sad. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it right now, but I'm crying. I'm, I'm sobbing. I'm weeping. It does not work. You can... You can now only use it if you're working, looking at the front side of the block, which, I mean, to be honest, fair enough. Next up, a skulk sensor. Check this out. I pull it out, and it can actually hear it now. This is something that we talked about in last week's video, uh, this one right here. And yes, 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 they actually updated the thing. Now, as far as I'm aware, these are the only skulk sensor changes having to do with this thing. We talked about some other cool ones in that other video, so check it out after this one. We've got a brand new filtered form of the wonderful new fill biome command. So let's say I wanted to fill this biome over here and make it like, let's say I wanted to make it, I don't know, like a 20 by 20 block cube of the deep dark biome, except I only wanted to replace like a certain biome in here. Well, replace, that's the new part. We can now replace uh, really anything in here. Heck, I don't know. We have an end city in here. We want to replace all of the end city in this specific area with a deep dark biome. And I mean, it's possible. And I mean, look at that, perfection, believe it or not, there aren't any end cities in this area, and sure enough, the biome conversion didn't work. The more I think about this brand new fill biome command, the, the more I fall in, <laughs> the more I fall in love with it. I mean, it's definitely a niche command, but there are many instances in the past where I'm trying to mess with biomes or do things specifically, and I couldn't. But now you can, and very soon too. So Minecraft 1.90.3, that has a release date of hopefully December 6th, 2022. What happens from now to then? Well, pre-releases. Depending on what they actually end up putting inside of these pre-releases, you might see more pre-release snapshot videos, or you might not. Also, with this new system of doing things, I'm not sure if that basically means the snapshots are essentially done for the year for 1.20, or if we'll end up seeing more things coming very, very soon. It'll be interesting to see. Over on Bedrock Edition, things have been getting smaller and smaller and smaller, with 1.19.50 just about finished too. That should come out soon. And to wrap up today's pre-release video, we have bug fixes in 1.19.3 pre-release 1. I believe there are 23 bug fixes total. The bug fixes? You're looking at them right here. Probably the most interesting one has to do with the Vex and the bounding box relating to it. The Vex's bounding box is still uh, kind of like off on the mob to be honest, but I mean, maybe it looks a little bit better. I, I don't know. The Vex, if you are able to trap it inside of a raft or a boat or something, will actually sit in the thing correctly now. And I mean, look at this thing. It's literally, <laughs> it's literally holding the, the rower things. Always beautiful. Anyways, it's been me, Minecraft's most handsome. Thank you all so much for watching. Like and subscribe and check out this video next. It perfectly puts the bow on the last series that we just did. New series very, very soon.